All right. So now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step seven. All right. So they've added the rest of the songs to the all songs array for us. Next, we're going to actually, let's look at that. So yeah, they added them all. We don't have to go through that uh, rigmarole. All right. So next, we're going to learn about the web audio API and how it's used to play songs. All modern browsers support the web audio API, which lets us generate and process audio in web applications. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use const to create a variable named audio and set it equal to new audio. And this is going to create a new HTML5 audio element. All right. Well, let's go check this out real quick. All right. So we've got this, uh, we're doing the, we're using the audio constructor and the audio constructor creates and returns a new HTML audio element, which can be either attached to a document for the user to interact with and or listen to, or it can be used off screen to manage and play audio. So for the syntax, what we're going to use is this new, and then we're going to have a space between it and then the audio with a uh, set of parentheses like this. And I just want to let y'all know about that because it's uh, on this one, news on the second page. And so, I mean, on the second line, so you never know, right? So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to say audio, pardon me, const audio equals new audio parentheses, and then we'll cap it off with a semicolon. All right, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step eight and we'll see you next time.